Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, I'm doing another get ready with me. And our last one, I explained how I don't do as many get ready with me's anymore and how I feel like people just don't really want to see them that much. But I got such amazing feedback on that video. You guys were all like, no, keep the beauty videos coming. We love get ready with me's, like keep doing them. So here I am with another one, but this one I'm also going to be showing you guys how I've been doing my hair lately. So I love curling my hair with a straightener now, and I'm telling you guys, it took me 21 years of life to finally learn how to properly curl my hair with a straightener. I don't know what it was, like I tried for years to do it, it just never worked out for me. And now that I can actually do it, I realize it's really not that hard. I think it comes down to the way your straightener looks, like your straightener really needs to be built like this, like it needs to be thin it needs to have rounded edges or else you're just not going to get that proper curl but anyways before we get into all that i just want to give a quick shout out to my friends over at function of beauty for sponsoring today's video so i've been using function of beauty for such a long time now like i swear if you look back at my old videos if you look at my routine videos i'm always using function of beauty and i've been obsessed with it i'm so obsessed with it and i'm so excited to be working with them again for today's video so for those of you who aren't familiar with function of beauty they are a completely customizable hair care brand that gets delivered straight to your door so you go online you fill out a quick two minute quiz you highlight your hair type your preferences your hair goals and you can even customize the bottles down to the color of the bottles the scent and also even adding your name onto the bottle so i just added function of nazanine but you can literally add whatever you want to the bottle you can I I could have even put like function of Kayvon's mommy like you know you can really just customize it and it's just so much fun to go on there and just make your perfect shampoo and conditioner and the amazing thing about function of beauty is that they have no parabens sulfates gmos toxins it's 100 percent vegan and cruelty free so i love the fact that it's such a clean brand i've been using the same exact formula for over a year now but this last time i ordered my new shampoo and conditioner i added that i wanted color protection because you guys know i did add some highlights to my hair they have such amazing scent selections i have the peach one and i swear everybody who smells my hair they're like girl what shampoo and conditioner are you using my hair smells amazing every time i use this and i've just seen such a huge improvement in my hair my hair is just so sleek and shiny like for example i washed my hair last night and i just blow dried it and look at how sleek my hair is i blow dried my hair straight and i always like to blow dry my hair straight whenever i go into curl with a straightener just to make it easier but look at how shiny and sleek this is this is with no you know straightening or anything like that so i really really love using function of beauty again i've seen just such a huge improvement in my hair ever since i've been using it so if you guys want to try out function of beauty for yourselves make sure you guys click the link down in my description box to get 20 percent off your order so yeah i used this last night to wash my hair i just blow dried it straight and now we're just gonna move in to actually styling my hair i always like to have my hair in the middle part sometimes i do a side part but then i divide my hair into half so you really want to make sure you're doing small sections at a time and i just wrap up my hair and use one of these clips to section it off and i just work with like sections this small at a time so then you're just gonna grab like about a one inch section of hair again if you have curly hair i highly recommend like blow drying your hair straight i feel like it makes the curls a lot more silky so you just grab your straightener and again, your straightener needs to be shaped like this. It needs to be small and thin and rounded. So if you have one of those straighteners that are like more boxy shaped or thicker, it's not going to give you the same look. That's the mistake I was making. So I like to just go through it real quick with the straightener. Just run it through. After I separate it like this, I just like to section it off with each little section that I'm doing just to really make sure I'm really getting every piece curled. Like I hate when I like finish my hair and I have some strands that are like completely straight. And also it's worth it to me to take a little bit of extra time when I'm styling my hair because I keep that style for like a week. So it's worth it to me to just take a little bit of extra time when I'm doing it so I can have hair all week. So I'm just gonna take it like this and then I just start twisting it away from my face and just dragging it down like that. Literally that simple. I don't know why it took me 21 years to figure it out, but it did. And I like to watch Grey's Anatomy while I do my hair. And it takes me about a whole episode of Grey's Anatomy, like a little bit less than a whole episode to do my hair, which is about 45 minutes. So I'm gonna finish this up and I'll be right back. Thank you. 
Just to finish doing my hair, and I'm gonna apply some serum. This is the Function of Beauty serum, so they also do have serums and also they have hair masks and stuff like that. I also do own their hair masks, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of the serum just to give my hair some shine and also tame some flyaways and also the curls will loosen up by the time I'm done with my makeup because right now they're a little bit too tight. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the serum and then clip my hair back and then we can get started on the makeup. So now moving on to makeup, the primer I've been using lately is the Domini Cosmetics um, JD Wavy 180 primer. So I'm just gonna apply this all over. This has been my favorite foundation lately, so I'm gonna apply this all over. I love the consistency of this foundation. It's such a natural finish. I love wearing it for a glam makeup look or even a natural makeup look. Like it looks good both ways. And you can definitely layer it on for a more heavy coverage. This is the concealer I use every day, my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. And this is in the shade Light Peach. I'm gonna go in my Charlotte Tilbury powder and use this to set under my eyes. I love this powder. I've been using this powder for literally like four years now. I love it. So this is something new in my makeup routine and my last selfie I posted, I got so many comments, so many DMs that my eyebrows look so good. So I finally got the fluffy eyebrow trend down. Like I've been trying to do the fluffy brow for ever now and I finally mastered it. I think this video should just be called like all the things that I finally mastered. But I do get my eyebrows laminated, but to really get that fluffy eyebrow look, I use this gel. This is the Got To Be Ultra Glue Gel and this is the travel size. So they do have the big bottle of course at the drugstore, but I saw the mini travel size and I'm like this is the perfect size for my eyebrows. And the whole like the Packaging is just perfect to just take it a spoolie. I have a bunch of these little disposable spoolies. I dip it in to the gel, wipe off any excess, and then I just brush my eyebrow hairs up. It's that simple. Just to speed up this process, I'm gonna use my fan but I wait for the glue to dry or else this step is gonna be very difficult. So after the glue dries, I go in with my Brow Wiz in the shade Taupe and I just, you know, fill in any gaps. So I really like applying the gel first, letting that dry and then going with the pencil because I feel like if I put the pencil on first, the wetness from the gel just kind of smears it around. So this way I can be more precise with the pencil. And to finish up my brows, I go on my NARS Soft Matte Concealer on a little detail brush and I just clean it up. So for my eyes, this palette is the one palette I take when I go on a trip. Um, if I have to use like one palette, it's gonna be this one from Dose of Colors. This is their Baked Browns palette. I think they changed the packaging. I think this is the old packaging. But I know they like did a whole new like design for their eyeshadow palettes. But they have the prettiest shades of warm brown. So I like to use the lightest color down here with the brush that comes in the palette just to highlight underneath my brows. As you guys can see, like my makeup really centers around my brows because your brows frame your face. I feel like if your brows look bomb, like everything else just kind of falls into place. Then I grab a fluffy brush and I go in with this warm brown right here. It's the perfect crease color, you guys. And I just buff this into my crease. So now on to lashes. Again, this makeup look is super quick. You look put together. And I really just wanted to put you guys on to all the new products I've been using. So when I'm doing a natural makeup look, I swear these are the best lashes to get. And they really do look like lash extensions in my opinion. These are the Kiss number 11 lashes. And they come in a pack of five. They sell these at CVS, Ulta. Like they're really easy to get. You don't have to get them online because I know that's annoying. 
um, having to get your lashes online all the time. So I love that I can run to the drugstore and get these lashes. I do trim them just a bit for my lashes just because I love the flare and I really focus them on the outer corner. So I'm just going to apply some mascara and apply the lashes. Guys, my lashes have gotten so long since I've been using the Grande Lash Serum. I use it every single night and guys, look. Literally, my eyelashes are touching my eyebrows. You know what? I changed my mind. I'm not going to apply lashes just because I'm having such a good lash day. I'm like, bro, I need to just embrace what my lashes look like today. These ones, this side is not doing as well as the other, which is annoying. I think I have leftover lash glue on my lid, but... By the way, the mascara I'm using is the Huda Beauty, the new Huda Beauty mascara, but I love this side, the curl and length one. I don't really use the volume side that much, I just use this side and I love it. It looks so good. So I want to try something new for my nose contour today. So Nikki Tutorial is on TikTok. I can, can I make a video without talking about TikTok? Um, she did a video on like the foolproof way to do your nose contour. And it looks so easy, so simple. So I'm going to try it out for this video today. Hopefully it doesn't look bad because I really like how my makeup looks and I don't want to ruin it. So basically you take your bronzer. I'm using a Hoola bronzer. And you take a big fluffy brush. I want to use one just with that has bronzer on it. Okay, I'm going to grab this one right here. So... You just pack on the bronzer on your nose. I really hope I don't regret this. So you pack on the bronzer on your nose like this. Then you take your face powder with a dry sponge. I'm using my Huda Beauty powder in the shade Banana, not Cupcake. I like to use Cupcake under my eyes, but for highlighting and contouring, I like Banana. I'm gonna use this sharp edge sponge. And then you just clean it up. And then while I let that kind of bake into my skin, I'm just going to contour my face. Not really contour, but just bronze up my skin. So again, taking that same brush I used for contour, I am just going to bronze up the skin. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. And then you're just supposed to apply some highlight to the tip. Doesn't look bad. I mean, it was a lot quicker than the way I usually do it. What do we think? I think I need to add like blush and like really finish my makeup to give my full opinion. I'm going to be using my Milani blush in Luminoso. Y'all know this is the OG blush. The great thing about this blush, I mean, hence the name Luminoso, it has a luminous finish. So I don't feel like I need to add highlighter to the blush, but I am going to add it to my nose. For lips, I've really been taking the time to sharpen my lip liners every time before I apply it. And I think it's made such a big difference in the way my lips look. Like I really feel like the liner just looks cleaner. So I just sharpened that up and this is NYX um, New Truffle Lip Liner. Isn't this just such a beautiful shade of lip liner? It's so gorgeous. So then I'm going to apply my lip color. This changes literally every day, but it's always nude or a light pink. So and I always like to kind of blend out the lip liner. And the lip gloss I'm going to be using is my Laura Mercier um, Bare Baby Gloss. Really been liking this gloss. And the setting spray I've been reaching for lately is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better spray. This has like hyaluronic acid in it and stuff, so I really like it for my, you know, natural glowy makeup looks. All right, guys, that is it for my go-to makeup and hair look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out Function of Beauty in the description box down below and use my code for 20% off. But again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you again for our next video. Bye, everyone.